What's up my beautiful and handsome crew? Welcome back to another 3D Machines production. I'm back, I'm, I'm here with Jake the Toilet Snake and uh, we're about to do some pressure wash and- I don't think we are. What, why not? Cause, ready? Yeah. You got her pinned and she's not coming out? No. It's that cold out here in New York. So it's not the hose, it's the spigot. Son of a gun. Jake wanted to clean up his bike here before we started working on it. Today's just another fun with Jake the Toilet Snake. You know, you, you go out and play, you break something, and then you fix it. But before you fix it, it's usually better if you clean the machine up. That way you're not getting grease and grime into like, you know. And dirt, a lot of dirt. I wonder, I, dirt. I wonder how they got the name. What? Grime? Dirt bike. Oh, dirt bike, yes. <laughs> no pressure washing? Probably not. Jake's having a wonderful time. He invited me up. He, he said, Dalton, we have to Netflix and chill. Yeah. <laughs> Pure horsepower. What is it, an 84? Yeah. She, so she sounds good at her mature age. Yeah, she's pretty right? <laughs> Jake literally only had his bike out for like 30 seconds. He's already tearing up the yard. I mean, he's just rooster tailing it like crazy. Kid's a freaking animal. Whoa, buddy! So we're in Jake's <laughs> makeshift shop here. He's we're going green. Clearly, because it's only what 55 degrees in here, oh. so we're saying we're we have like a green thumb today, but it's actually like a blue thumb because I'm losing circulation you in my fingers. It is cold in here. Jake's just kind of he's in the tinker mode. The, the biggest thing that he wants to accomplish today is potentially putting this new pipe on. Well, this different pipe, it's an FMF pipe. Here, you know what? We may as well get it down for you. And then this is the pipe he currently has on. That one definitely is shorter. And while we're talking about bikes, I'll also bring up what's wrong with my bike. Jake, what's wrong with my bike? Which one? The Honda or the Kawasaki? The, the, the Kawasaki. The Kawasaki? Um, I think it's blown up. I think so too. We we have yet to like really tear it apart or anything, but I think the Kawasaki really died. Like seriously. Which sucks, but... So Jake's talking about like jetting. Um, where's the jet kit? So basically like this, this is a jet kit. So basically what this does is it gives your bike different fuel ratios. It puts either less fuel into the engine or more fuel into the engine. And he's just uh, making the decision whether he wants to mess with the jetting and the exhaust or just the exhaust. Jake's impressed with, with the literature. Man, this is the first bike I've ever bought that comes with the owner manual. For sure, no so, doubt about it. Did it come with like the title too or no? Or yeah. transferable registration? Because that's even more rare. That's like you hit the jackpot, baby. The jakepot. So you paid how much? Seven, seven, five. Almost eight grand for the bike. Yeah. Jake scored it for a hundred bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plus a couple more thousand that's bucks. A, Jake didn't get it, get it for a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks would be a crazy good deal. Look at that, he has it. This kind of looks like a bond from like a bank. That's yeah. like money, baby. He bought it from uh, Ohio, apparently. So it's gonna be bikes, bikes, bikes today. I Jake's think... working on his, mine's blowing up, and then Seth ended up getting a new fender while I was down in Florida. And uh, Jake, what happened here, buddy? Because uh, I noticed that this is brand new right here. And then right, you know, over here, there's a big scrape. And I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. What so the... what happened was, uh, Seth was in front of me and um, he decided that he wanted to wipe out. So <laughs> when he decided he wanted to wipe out, he wiped out and I was like right behind him about to pass him. And so he wiped out and then I wiped out and I rear my foot peg gouged this up and then ripped his seat. And then I came and somehow I got my foot stuck underneath my one foot like in between here and his wheel and my other foot came down and hit his freaking broken foot peg. So I still have a bruise right here. I'm gonna like Jake is currently a tetanus survivalist. He's he's having a GoFundMe right now. Yeah. Uh, his leg is close to being amputated. So if you, I'm just kidding, you guys. But Jake is hurting. There's no doubt about that. And and Seth's probably ticked off that his new fender is shot now. Yeah, he was a little mad. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'm like, dude, it was either run you over or wipe out. <laughs> and I decided to wipe out, and he was kind of happy about that. So Jay Coy sticks out of his tongue when he's concentrating. A lot of people do that, but I didn't know if he was hungry or if he was just concentrating. So he's taking off his kickstand, and what are we looking at here, Jake? Um, so I lost the original part, so I went down and bought this bushing. But I think I should have made it a little bit shorter, because now I have a little bit of slop. So we might want to cut that down. So what are you trying to prevent happening? Because if you have this longer, if you have the bushing longer than this, it'll make your kickstand go up and down easier. Yeah, but I don't want it to. Be you don't want it? Okay, no. so that's why you want to shorten it. Is that brass? I think you got enough off of there, buddy. Thank you. I took it down fast. I know it's brass. I'm like, I don't see any sparks. It can't be steel. Hey, Jake, did you uh, did you see the new decals? Yeah, I did. Do you need need one or two of them? Yeah. We can, we can hook you up. I Potentially, see if we put it on the uh, what is your new vehicle called? The Explorer Sport Track. Yeah. If you put it on there, it will give it at least a hundred more horsepower, and it just becomes an instant chick magnet. Oh, rally money. I mean, you don't need that part, but you do need the hundred horse, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We got it. Let's show them how shiny that brass is. Look at that. That's like a million bucks right there. And it's about perfect. That's like the gold edition right there. That is luxury. That's like the sport track. <laughs> I don't think that was a luxury edition. It doesn't have leather. D did you find the uh, dead mouse yet? I don't think it. I think it's gone, dude. Is does it really not stink anymore? No, it smells. Oh, okay. Well, you're gonna say it smells. I don't really smell it because I'm used to it. But my... His rig reeks. There's no doubt. Does what does your girlfriend think of that? Does she say it stinks? No, she doesn't. She doesn't want to hurt my feelings. Oh, so she's really nice about it. That's how you know you have a good girlfriend or a good boyfriend when they don't say things that hurt your feelings. So if you get a boyfriend or girlfriend that's like that, keep them. They're a good one. Words from Jake the Toilet Snake. That's what I want. Because like, in case I forget to put it up, it stays up. So what, like are we, what are we working? So it's a little less floppy, right? Yeah, I like that much better. And then he always has the little grabber yeah, yeah. thingy. But sometimes I forget to put it in there. All right, now we got to go back down to my house so that I can put a video up for you guys and then we'll be back and we'll tinker some more. Hopefully we don't get in any trouble between here and there because, you know, you get on the road, you get into Duramax and things can happen. Plans have changed. We're in hot pursuit of Ian. We saw Ian in a, in a new Dodge. His grandfather loves Dodges, so he probably bought a new one. Not so, brand new, guys. No, no, not brand new. We're all, we're all in the brand used market, right? Yeah. So we saw him anyway, so we're going to see what's up. And Ian doesn't like the camera, and especially when he, when he's in the front of his family and all that stuff. So we probably we probably won't film with Ian, but we will hassle him off camera. There's the new rig. It's got a cap. It's got the same rims as my old Dodge. Hey, Ian, how's it going? I like your new rig. Yeah. It's sexy. I know. Prince is acting all vicious, and he's only down to three legs. Prince, come here. What do you mean down to three legs? Look at him. Come here, Prince. Come here. Prince! Hey, you son of a gun! Here he comes. Oh, you rascal, you! I'm gonna get you! Oh, oh. oh there he is. <laughs> we just have to tease Prince, but he's down to three legs. Prince, what's going on with your leg, buddy? Because, um, I think he stubbed his toe. So his foot's acting weird. It's only been for a few hours, but hopefully he gets better. But see him, he's got a... He's not putting no pressure on him at all. No, he doesn't like that. Is that looking better? So I went from being 3D to Chef Boyardee. Oh, yeah. So uh, what do we got cooking up here, Cole? Oh, well, it was actually your decision to make the tuna. I started doing this, but Cole started getting the bread. You know, teamwork makes the dream work. Remember that. But we're just getting some food. Jake's doing some research. Freshen up creep. Your professional grief. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's like he's doing background checks on people and getting their social security numbers and all the things like that. <laughs> Prince, what's going on? You just hurting? Can you come here? Come here. Come here. Good boy. Just lay down. Lay down. Good boy. So it hurts, huh? It hurts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Prince. 
but I hope you get better. I'm sure everybody else will hope the same thing. He must have been running too fast, and he must have got hurt or something outside. But you're tough, right? So while my brother Cole and Jake finish up their tuna fish, I am going to finish opening the packages that the customs officer, the people that stopped me at the Canadian border, the guy who searched my truck actually opened up your guys' fan mail. I told you guys to feel privileged. So I picked out two of the pieces of fan mail and now we're gonna open them. So they already did the hard part for me. So this looks like a company sent this to me. Hey 3D Machines, just started watching your channel and figured we'd send you a set of LED headlights for your Duramax. So basically it's a care package from 4x4 truck LEDs. If I get to them, I'll get to them and I'll install them on my truck. If not, then next. Looks like a jacket. Skidoo! It's a Skidoo jacket. Dear 3D Machines, my name is Josh Kittredge. I hope that's how you say your name, Josh K. Thank you very much. He lives in Connecticut. He wants to be a mechanic when he's older. That's that's awesome. I'm glad that I inspire so many people to like do like learn a trade and stuff like that. It's really cool. I love your videos and I thought you could use this jacket more than I can. Well, thank thank you very much, Josh. Nice, short, sweet, to the point fan mail. I appreciate it, you guys. I also want to mention for a limited time we have new 3D machines decals. They look like this. <laughs> A lot of you guys have already ordered, so hurry up and get your order in. If you haven't, they're five bucks a piece. I'll leave in the comment section the video and at what time that you can hear about how you can get yourself a decal and also be entered in a giveaway. The winner of the giveaway will get a stud from the Duramax from the wheel that fell off of my truck, a tachometer for a four-wheeler dirt bike, whatever you want to keep track of hours, this thing will do a great job at it. And finally, a 20,000 MAH power bank autographed by yours truly. So like I said, that will be in the comment section, but I gotta get back upstairs to Jake and Cole. We had lunch. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. We're gonna go ride some dirt bikes probably. So feel better. Here, move that foot, dude. He doesn't want you to touch him. You see his mouth, like, snarling? Oh, I don't want him to bite me. This yeah, place. yeah, he's definitely uh, concerned about himself. Uh, Prince, we'll see you later. Yeah.